Some of the horses on this list are more valuable than luxury cars. Others are so rare, there are only a thousand of them in the entire world. This is the Fjord horse. Coming to us straight from the mountains of western Norway, this is an agile draught horse that always has a dun coat. If you look at the mane, they're usually roached, which means cut down, so they stay upwards all the time. For hundreds of years, they were used as farm horses. They're also used as harness horses and under saddles. Followed by Paso Fino. The Paso Fino horse came to us from Spain when they imported horses to the Caribbean. They're very popular in trail riding, but some consider the horse small. Their gated horses have a fine build and are distinguished for their delicate taste. Some of them even have the tiger eye, which lightens the eyes of the horse, giving them a peculiar amber color. Roughly speaking, they can grow between 52 and 62 inches. There's also the Marwari horse. This horse breed can be found in all equine colors in the Marwar region of Northwest India. However, we should tell you that the gray horses are considered the most valuable, while the black ones are associated with death and are believed to bring bad luck. They've been bred in the region for 12 centuries, and in all that time, they've kept their most iconic trait, the inwardly curved ears. Currently, they're used for riding, shows, sports, and in times of war. And now, the Rocky Mountain Horse. Unlike the name suggests, this steed originated in the Appalachian Mountains. They can be found in various color patterns, but the most renowned and cherished is the Silver Dapple. Here comes the Shire Horse. If you're looking for a horse that looks like it's been bred for pulling royal carriages, this one's it. It comes in black, bay, or gray, and it smashed that like button just like you should if you haven't already. But no, in all seriousness, it's actually a draught horse. They come from the UK, and it holds the world record for the largest and the heaviest horse in the world. Now we have the Yakut horse. In the past, the Yakuts brought domesticated horses to the Siberian Saka Republic. They slowly evolved and became what is today the Yakut horse. Because they've grown up in cold weather, these horses' bodies have adapted to withstand the extreme Siberian cold of up to minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 70 Celsius. They can even locate grass and shrubbery that's covered under the deep snow. There's also the Hanoverian horse. For those that have watched the Olympic Games, these are the horses you see in show jumping. Despite their German origin, they're used in English rising style games. Then comes the Frisian horse. The Frisian horse is born with a black coat. The horse is very powerful and elegant. They were used as war horses, but are now used in dressage and have a thick and long mane and feathered legs. Don't forget about the Falabella. Unlike some other horses, these are one of the smallest horse breeds. They're small Argentinian ponies with long manes and hairy tails. The males are around 170 pounds in weight, and they reach a maximum height of 33 inches. However, while it's as big as a pony, it looks nothing like a pony. It looks just like a miniature version of a thoroughbred. Coming up, the Holsteiner. Another German warm-blood horse, however, this one is considered the oldest warm-blood breed dating back to the 13th century. They too are used in show jumping. Next up, the Orlov Trotter. This Russian steed comes with a hereditary fast trot. They were bred in 18th century Russia, and as time went on, they were used for riding and draught work, but after the fall of the Soviet Union, they were in serious danger of extinction with fewer than a thousand individuals. Here's the Pinto horse. This is one of the rare horses that has a coloring pattern named after it, and this Pinto coloring is probably one of the most popular in the United States. Now, these are not considered a special breed of horses, but because of their gorgeous look, they're slowly making a name for themselves. Some might think these horses are similar to the Appaloosa, but this one has the leopard complex, and when it comes to breeding, professionals are very careful not to cross the two. And of course, the Russian Don. This 63-inch horse got its name after the Don River. In the past, it's been used as a cavalry horse for the Cossacks, but today, people use these stallions for driving and riding. Followed by the Andalusian horse. Called the pure Spanish horse, the males of the Andalusian horse are highly prized on the Iberian Peninsula. They're strong, elegant, and have thick and long manes. They were recognized in the 15th century and used as war horses. 
And don't forget the Nabstuper. The Danish Nabstuper is the Dalmatian of horses. We previously mentioned the leopard complex, which is what it looks like in real life. Some even have a solid chestnut or bay color but are less common. Today you can see them as circus horses and dressage and show jumping and as carriage horses. This is an Arabian horse. Just like the name suggests, this horse originated on the Arabian Peninsula. They are one of the most easily recognizable breeds of horses thanks to their tall and slim figure that can reach a height of up to 21 inches while guarding a top weight of 1,000 pounds. They have spread throughout the world via trade and war, but today they dominate endurance riding. To keep things simple, if you have ever watched any equestrian sports, you have probably seen some of these horses. Next up, we have the Thoroughbred. In 18th century England, they took the native mares and crossbred them with stallions of Arabian breeding. The result is the horse we now know as the Thoroughbred. Now, it does get a little confusing when you realize that Thoroughbred means any other horse that's purebred, but it technically refers to this horse. Today, they are used in horse racing because of their hot bloodedness, speed, and agility. Followed by the Suffolk Horse. The Suffolk Horse, like the name suggests, comes to us from Suffolk, England. The horse is extremely strong and consumes very little food, that is why people use them as draught horses to pull wagons and chariots. Their origins date back to the 16th century and they have a historically tall stature with a weight exceeding 2200 pounds. And now comes the Haflinger. Bred on the border between Austria and Italy, the Haflinger is a horse with a distinct chestnut coat and flaxen mane. They can be used to pull small carriages, but they are also used for endurance and therapeutic riding. Don't forget about the Shetland Pony. Looking like something you'd find in a Lord of the Rings movie, the Shetland Pony is a Scottish breed from the Shetland Isles. At their tallest, these cute little guys will stand up to 42 inches tall. Their coats are heavy and because they are strongly built, it's not uncommon to see them ridden by people. And then we have the Lipizzan. Coming to us from Habsburg Monarchy of Austria, this stallion is one of the strongest, most muscular, and one of the longest living horses in the world. Their gray coat gives them a distinguished look and they have been popularized by the Spanish riding school. They are between 58 and 62 inches tall and have a large, expressive face and small ears. They rose to prominence during the European Baroque period. What about the Percheron? The Percheron comes from the former Persia province in the west of France. As you can clearly see, the Percheron is a gray or black horse and they have been present in the region since the 17th century. In the beginning, they were bred as war horses, but today they are used as workhorses. The Percheron has large muscles and is very intelligent. Compared to other horses, they are rather tall, standing at a height of between 61 and 73 inches. Next comes the Welsh Pony. The Welsh Pony takes its roots back to the Middle Ages. They are slightly higher than average ponies, and the breed is generally used for showing, jumping, driving, and riding. They are extremely popular with children. We also have the Vladimir Heavy Draft. Named after Vladimir Putin, this horse is… no, no, no. This horse is named after the Vladimir Oblast in Moscow where the horse has been bred since the early 20th century. This draught horse is exceedingly large and some of the horses can have feathering on the legs. The Vladimir Oblast is very energetic and has deep girth. Lastly, there is the Akal Teki. Deemed the Golden Horse, the Akalteki is a Turkmen horse breed with a reputation for speed, endurance, and intelligence. They are popular riding horses and they are bred for endurance. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next.